what what have we got in the there's about four million there? I don't know, five and nine. No, no, I think it's near enough six, don't it? Is it? Yeah. God, that's between fifteen and twenty million people listening right now, Lester. Yeah, that's big news, isn't it? Yeah. From little acorns, great oaks grow, I say. Well, we did say this, didn't we, originally? That's what they said. Yeah. Anyway, this was about uh, motorway speed limits. Yes. Get it down to 60 mile an hour. With a what? Get it down to 60 mile an hour. 60 mile an hour? National speed limit. Yes, because they did it in America, didn't they? The 50. Well, they're only 50, aren't they? Um, the thing is, driver error at that speed increases by something like between 15 and 22 percent dreadful isn't it right now hopefully at this time of night now there should be some blue suits that drive up and down motorway that are going on the refreshment breaks and they may actually fall in because we do know that some of them do do actually come on the shore and they'll tell you why should they actually be witness to that sort of carnage absolutely yeah, and it is carnage yeah in and around, like, Manchester, you either go one way or the other, either clockwise or anti-clockwise or M60. One vehicle every morning causes up to 4,000 people to be late for work. Right? And Is that right? Yeah. And the same... Is as that a genuine statistic? Because yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. No, up to 4,000 people being late for work. Now, if you tail it down, you have a choice then, you either go by public transport, which is plenty of people on one bus, one train. Yeah, but in general, in general, Lester, public transport is so unreliable. I mean, I had a mate was going from uh, Manchester Piccadilly to Glasgow last week. Mm. And, you know, they, they do it a lot. They do this journey a lot because they're in business. Yeah. Now, without fail, right? No, sorry, I beg your pardon, once the direct train has actually worked. Yeah. Right. The rest of the time, they usually spend an hour in Preston Station. Well, that's that's why... That's now, you can't... You just can't afford that. Oh, no. No, you can't. You, can't you know, if you, if you say... If you said to me, Scotty, I'll meet you tomorrow in Manchester or in Leicester or whatever at, uh, at midday... Yeah, and then you look up and you think, now, so what have we got here? Hey, there's a train gets in at 5 to 11. That would do me, and then I can have an hour in Nottingham and then meet Scotty at midday. Mm. Now, say you're delayed somewhere for one hour. So yeah. that train gets in at five to midday, yes? Yeah. And you don't know where. What can you do in five minutes? Well, you can't do a lot, but that's why they've actually got, like... Uh, you're not going to get oh. anywhere in Nottingham in five minutes. Well, no, you won't. So I'm waiting till about, what would you say, 12.30, see? Yeah. And I think... Fleming, no, where's Leicester? You know, yeah. now you've probably left Bolton, right? If it's an eight, if it's a train that you're in at five to eleven, you've probably left Bolton at sort of like eight o'clock in the morning. The day before. The day before, you know, and you're still late. So the trains in general are so flaming unreliable. Last time I went to Nottingham, actually, I'll I'll tell you something. Egg. I actually got a great big tape measure and went through Sherwood Forest. And measure that great big tree round there. <laughs> and I was totally amazed that something can grow so big. Amazing. Well, I mean, that's that's a different side. Hey, the missus has been saying that to me for years. Yeah, well. But that said, it's a case of the infrastructure is there, like with, with rail and all this cap and that's going on, all like mm. transportation policy, to bring it all in line where you can get off a bus, you can get on a train. You can even go to the airport and make a connection, sort of thing, you know. But well, an integrated transport policy is what you need, but yeah. you won't do it by privatising businesses. Oh, no, but you, the best way to be is 10 minutes late in this life or 15 years too early next. Hey, good point, Lester, I like it. Oh, I fun. think we'll end on that one. Yeah, see you. Hey, see you, mate, dinky yeah. do. Right, there's Lester. Very wise, very wise man, actually. Janet's in Chester. Dinky-doo, Janet. You there, Janet? Hello. Hello, love. Hiya, Dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, love. Are you okay? Yeah, I just want to say how brilliant the programme is. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. 
me and my brother listen every night. Hey, fantastic. He's only 14. So oh, he's my goodness, he shouldn't be covering his ears, love. What? Cover his ears. No, uh, he listens, though. Put some earmuffs on him. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Are you enjoying it, the lovey? Yeah. That's the main thing. How's Chester yeah. tonight? Is it cold? Yeah. Ooh, love. Get into Bobo's then. Yeah. Get, I am now. Get yourself all well, night. Before we go, can I just tell you a quick joke? I'll go on then. Is it clean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how would you get an elephant into a safe way bag? Go on. Take the F out of... <laughs> <laughs> night night darling bye see ya <laughs> right there we are takes all kinds doesn't it where's Sharon are you there Sharon in Nottingham yes I am yes lovely um, I feel like I've kind of lost the plot here because I phoned after listening to Mr I didn't mean to do it Donny I've just come out of the big house Donny I didn't yeah. mean to drink and drive yeah and as he was talking about how... Who's, talking, who's Donny? Uh, well, I'm so sorry. It just... I, I was so angry. It was society's fault. Who's Donny? It's not you, is it? Scotty. That's what I meant. Scotty, love. I know, I know. Not I'm Donny. Sorry, I, I just, not I just Donny got McCoy. so angry. I've been listening to kind of the radio going one side and the telephone going the other side, all on different time scales. And now I feel like but what you're best to do... a long time ago. What you're best to do is to take your telephone and just listen on the telephone. I'm trying. That's trying. the best thing. The thing that... It, it really made me cross. Go on, tell us why. He was... What is this big euphemism about the big house? Why don't they say, I'm a criminal, I've been in jail? No, no, I started... The big house. That's a McClueism. Oh, is it? That's a Scotty McClueism, so that okay. people don't come on and identify what prison they're in. You see, oh, right. to protect the prisoners as I would protect the public, right? right so we, we have the big house. The big as house opposed to are the Queen's o- the Queen's Hotel. Oh, right. That's another one. Yeah. Right. You right? see. It, it, these are all Scotty McLean. I don't get that. I don't get that. It's well, a bit like I didn't mean to drink and drive enough times to get myself. Well, this program, to the big one, house. one of the huge attractions of this radio program, right? Yeah. To the extent that the television companies are having to beef the schedules up, okay? Okay. Because everyone's listening to Scotty McClure at night. Now, right. one of the one of the big attractions about this program is that it's like being a member of an exclusive club. If you don't listen, then you can sod off because the program has its own vocabulary. Got and that. the the big house and the Queen's Hotel and all that sort of thing are all part of it. I got that. I, because I, I have not been I, I, listening I, long enough sure. to be a member of the private club. Well, you are now, lovey. Whether I you like it, it to be an inappropriate euphemism. Well, it's not an inappropriate euphemism because there is no other radio program, there is no other radio station that says once you've done your crime, once you've done your time, you are a member of society like the rest of us. Right. You're right, and until society. Uh, stops treating prisoners as lepers, we will always have prisoners. Now, you're one of these old-fashioned people that only really sees to about the end of your nose. That's wrong. Right? That's absolutely wrong. That's the problem. Wrong. That's the problem. No, you're and, not listening to me. And it's the, purpose, it's the purpose of the program to see if we can get you to think in a little bit more of a lateral form be really good if you could listen to me. I said that was wrong. I don't see that way. I don't see things that way. Well, you seem, to have, you seem to have a downer no, on somebody... No, you're not listening to you me. Know. If he did his crime and he did his time, right. he's done. Which he had done. Fine. What I... I just find it a little galling what? to listen to people saying just came out of the big house it wasn't my fault it was society's fault well no that's true and i mean i think i, I, I agree i agree with you there i mean i think on the phone for so long the what darling i think i might have lost a bit of the conversation having been sat on the phone so long right i don't have a problem with people i'm not one of these 
if they've been in prison, they're never allowed to be re- rehabilitated. I'm not like that. I just found it very galling that I was listening to this, been in the big house, Scotty, and it wasn't my fault I drank and drove. It was society. Yeah, I agree with you. He got that bit wrong. But then having yeah, said I'm that, until you, until you can make it clearer to people who are in the nick that they are society and that they have yeah, to start taking responsibility... Point. That was absolutely my point. It, was, it wasn't me, it was society. And my point was, yeah. what is society? Was he not associating with society when he was in his big house? Well, I can go along with you there, but having said that, by having an attitude to the prisoners that they are low life and you and me are high life, I didn't you, say that. you know, you're never actually going to sort of change the whole thing until you can get the message across to all people that they are responsible. Society is not a them and us. And I could guarantee you that 90% of the people in the Nick believe that society is built up of them and us I and what i'm saying agree with that and what i'm Scotty, saying well you can in a that, second if you just let me interrupt you if you went into the big house as you call it into that society and you talked to those prisoners they would consider that they had a society and their society would be governed within there by their own rules and there are certain things you do do and certain things you don't do, and anybody who does the bad things will be dealt with. And they consider that little um, gene pool, that little world that they live in, to be society. And it works for them. Well, what it they is... can't do is expand that to when they come out. Yes, but it is a form of society in there, because if you start with why someone... why can't they work with that outside the walls? Why because, can't they see because... that the things that work some people don't work for the people because there are people like you who are ready to condemn them for putting the nose out the door you know if somebody stole your car would you think they were good guys or bad guys well i think there was something wrong with them It's, it's not so much bad guys as so much damaged guys if somebody stole my car then they're obviously mentally ill Oh, please. No, they are. That's I mean, what? No, excuse me. correct no. answer, but for God's sake. No, come on. Four no. o'clock in the morning, and you come out. No, hang on, on, hang on. Not if there, somebody steals say, your car, if oh somebody, oi, oi, if somebody steals your car, they're mentally ill. They're damaged. Because why, why would they steal your car if they're not? Anybody who takes from somebody else without their permission is the is is damaged. Values that you do, they can. No, it's nothing to do with sense of values. Excuse me, who's being who's being? Excuse me, oi oi. Excuse me, who's being mis politically correct now? I don't think I am. Of course you are. Set sets of values and all the rest of it. You know, I mean, that's far too advanced into thinking. You've got to realise that if somebody commits a crime, then in some way they are psychologically damaged. Now, whether it's a bad childhood, whether it's just ignorance, whether they've got something in the brain that doesn't quite connect. Hello? Smell the coffee! You know. Or whether they're just bad people. They know that they're doing wrong but they do it anyway have you ever considered that is an i don't i don't people? believe i don't believe in bad people i believe in no, damaged I don't believe people. In bad people i believe have in you damaged ever people considered that they consider that it's a bad thing to do but they do it anyway doesn't make them bad doesn't make them evil Just well i think i think i choice. think if you're talking about a lot of young people nowadays they what have a think? You think I'm talking about young people? No, no. I'm not talking hey, about excuse people me, are, excuse me, excuse me. Would you stop? Would you stop? Would you stop lashing us all with your tongue? As opposed to you, you mean? No. I don't mind you if, you, if, if you're damaged that you feel you want to lash Scotty McLean with your tongue. Fair enough. But, I mean, just give people a break. You're, you're shouting the odds on here, you know. You think so? Yes. See, I don't think I am. I think there You're are on. a lot of people listening 
who probably agree with me. Oh, yes, I'm sure there are a lot of people listening who agree with you. But agreeing with you, agreeing with you does not necessarily give somebody a clean bill of mental health. Oh, please, you can't think that I'm... Do lally. ...deficient. No, I didn't say you were mentally deficient. Don't know where you got that one from. Oh, you, it, it, all I'm saying is... It might have been you calling me do lally. No, but you said there's people out there who will agree with me, but what I'm saying is that agreeing with you does not necessarily mean that you're right. In the same way that agreeing with you doesn't necessarily mean that you're right. Well, of course it does, because, I mean, my points are properly thought out here. Oh, and so are mine. No, they're not. Oh, yeah. Your, your, I, I, your I, points I are very... There's a, are. There's a, no, there, well, I won't find the are. I can hear what you're saying. Some of what you're saying is sense. Others is just complete gobbledygook. I, d- I just can't understand why you can't accept that there are people who make the wrong choices because they choose to. Not yeah, but why Why do they choose? Well, of course they choose to, because that's what choice is. that to do the bad thing will make them an yeah, easy well, word. If you're looking at, this is where you jumped down my throat the last time, but if you're looking at young people, right, and a lot of um, crime and criminality starts at a young age, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, if you're looking at young people, their big problem is that they 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 are they're not full of emotional intelligence that's the thing and they get bored easily and when these children are bored they do things spectacular like vandalism okay right what makes it different? there is no reason why for instance do we have vandalism what makes it different in 1999 to the way it was in 1989 or the way it was in 1979? What about what about 1869, 1689? Okay. 18, you see, you go back. You see what you chimneys. Yes. Yes. That was wrong. So we were much harder on the children then. See, now you're and beginning. They, now you're beginning to talk and sense. And you're expecting me now to say, and those were when times were good, and children yes. didn't have time now, to get into mischief. And now, I'm not going to say that. You see, now you're beginning to talk I'm not sense. Say that. I can actually get a handle on you now no, because I'm not you're beginning to talk sense. Right? At last, we seem to have got through. The lights are coming on. The jets are firing up. And there you are. I'm not going to say that talking that sense. was right. What I'm saying you is see? that... Um, let's say... See, let's see before... Just, for instance, 1979. Go on, then. Uh, 1979, when Mrs. Middle, Thatcher, me, when Mrs. Middle, Thatcher Middle Thatcherism, came to power. Mrs. Thatcher was breaking the unions. Yes. Their mines were closing down. Their railways were on strike. Everybody was on strike. And people who were having, uh, who thought they had a job for life, they were getting apprenticeships and they were being thrown out on the scrap heap. They were being made redundant. Yes. Did we have a huge crime wave in the country? Did we have drugs overtaking the country? Did we have people doing bad things because they were bored? Am I right or am I wrong? Yes, you did. You still had. Uh, I mean, in the terms of the drugs, the drugs are relatively new and they're purely people who are in business to make money who are peddling the drugs and, oh, and, 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 and killing absolutely. the children. Right? Absolutely. Eh? Oh, I, d- I have no... D- disagreement with I mean, that that's what they are doing. You know, I mean, if it was something, if something else came in, if the drugs were all legalized and you could get, you know, um, heroin or crack cocaine or whatever for 20 pence in the chemist, um, then, uh, you know, that would be it. The drug bonds would do something else. What? So, so crime would reduce? Well, no, it's no. The, the, the people that. who make their money out of organized crime would do something else. Yeah. There'll right? always be something for them to do. There'll always be something. I mean, smuggling, sugar. Uh, we've always had smugglers. It's a way of life for people who aren't content with an honest living. Yeah. So we've um, always had that. Though, we've always had that. Now. Eh? It just seems as though there are more of them. And that was very well put, actually. Thank you. People who are not content with an honest living. Exactly. There are 
there just seem to be more of those people. Well, I think, well, the drugs do bring because, as somebody told me one night, if you've got a serious drugs habit, you need about 20K, 20,000 quid to feed that. Now, that's a lot of videos and car radios, isn't it? That's a lot of nanas being banjoed. Oh, absolutely. You know, to get the money to do that. And just, it, it, it one of the things that really goes me is that if you only get your telly, your video, your car, whatever, nicked, that's like a soft crime. That's okay. You can replace that. You're insured. Don't mean anything. Well, now, you see, in actual fact, that's a myth because the insurance costs us all money. The insurance Huge company doesn't amount. lose out in that. Huge amounts of money. But, I mean, even the police, they are pretty much powerless. They try their best. They can't do anything about it. They, they say, are you insured? You say, yeah. Is it worth replacing it? They say we'll be back next week. So, you know, but... Well, what another oh, thing? Well, another I'm thing we away from why I well, thought. another thing we could do then is completely put a stop on uh, material things. We could. You then know, what they, then what would they steal? They would have to steal. No, you'd have nothing to, to steal. Generate money to generate. Yeah, but you'd have nothing to steal. They'd find a way. You know, we we've come a long way from our original or my original phone call. But if we're talking now, see, say about for instance, fueling. there must be people who take drugs who are are uh, are on an income and paying through that income. Absolutely, there are people, uh, certainly in the city, certainly people I've worked with. There are people who manage to maintain a fairly normal lifestyle. They work at a fairly difficult job and by doing that they fuel their they call it recreational habit right, a recreational habit That's simply because simply because like recreational drinking yeah simply like you be- and me going out at the weekend and having a couple get- of glasses of wine or a couple of bottles of wine or whatever right they but, think it's recreation but the difference is if you can afford it right uh-huh an alcoholic was once defined to me as somebody who drinks the same as yourself that you don't like. Okay. Right? That person's alcoholic and what have you. Now, if you can afford it, and you won't be able to afford it forever because eventually your brain goes, obviously, from drug abuse. Oh, I, I, well, I don't know, but, you know, I, I assume... No, it does. I mean, it actually does. I mean, it's, 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 you don't have to take drugs to know that. 